Today's Namaste Yoga continues our Yoga Stories 2 series with the Ayurdhehi Mantra, and we will nourish your hearing today. Hello and welcome to episode 244 of Namaste Yoga. I'm Dr. Melissa West. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a beautiful day here in September. The peacocks have joined us this morning for our class. And I am getting ready to head off on a four-day silent yin yoga retreat tomorrow on Denman Island, which is just a little bit north of me, about two hours north of me, and on the east side of the island. So I'm looking forward to that. Four days of silence will be bliss for me. And <laughs> everybody else, too, probably. <laughs> People say I talk too much. Actually, if you, if you get to know me in real life, I'm actually... I don't talk a lot, actually, in real life. This is probably when I talk the most. Isn't that right, Tim? He's not saying anything, but if, actually, if you ask a lot of people that come to meet us in real life, Tim actually does a lot more of the talking in, in, our, in real life, and I'm a lot more quiet, actually. You might find that hard to believe, but those of you who have met that, us will attest to that, actually. They think there's something wrong with me, but there's nothing wrong with me. That's just really how it is. I'm a little more quiet in day-to-day -day life so that's how it goes I want to thank our uh, sponsors um, squeeze yoga clothing who provide me with clothes for this show I'm wearing a long sleeve bamboo top a nice brick red color and then leggings nice gray leggings and then dusky leaf for our props today you're gonna need your mat two blocks a bolster and a wall so I have a testimonial today from Renee from Facebook and she says, Dear Melissa, I can't remember when I wrote you last, but it's been a while and I have continued to enjoy your guidance. Thank you again. I have an update on how yoga has improved my life. Number one, my no knees no longer allowed me to cycle or run. A year later, I am on my third week of running on the treadmill and I have no pain to speak of. This fills my heart with excitement and hope. Number two, when I started with your intro classes, I was depressed with anxiety and my asthma stifled my cardio workouts. That was my doctor's orders. And I didn't know how to get my act together. Now I am a full-time history teacher for high school and teach two university courses. I not only got my act together, I am excelling as a teacher. I have no need to look back or to other greener areas. I'm living my truth or getting there every day. Number three, my asthma is under control. Lifestyle changes are important. I've even managed to get my colitis under control. Number four, my family, love life, and friendships are stronger than ever. I'm even getting married this year. <laughs> I can attest to yoga being a fundamental part of my success and happiness. I will send, I still send my namastes to you Dr. West. You never know how profoundly my life has changed after I started working on your YouTube classes. Thank you. Namaste, Renee from Mexico City, Mexico. And she's been practicing more than a year with uh, Namaste Yoga. So thank you so much for that. I love hearing your success stories. You can go to thank you, Melissa. Is that right? Thank you, Melissa. It's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, then you'll find out how you can leave your testimonials. I love hearing from you. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of you that have been leaving. Uh, Ivy started a thank you card on our membership site and all your testimonials about how Namaste Yoga and the membership site has impacted your lives over the last five years have had me in tears. Actually, I've been having Trinity read them to 
Tim and Trinity because I can't read them out loud or else I just break out bawling. So they're really gorgeous and I'll share some of them with you in the coming weeks because it's amazing to hear how how the impact, yeah, Namaste Yoga and the membership site has had on you over the last five years. It's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and get started with our class today on Nourish Your Hearing. You can go ahead and rest back on your back. You could even start actually today with legs up the wall. So shall I show them how to do that? And to begin, so we're going to we're gonna use a tree for this. I will uh, move my mat over to the tree, I guess. Maybe I won't. I'll just go over there. Because I'm going to come right back to my mat. But here's my bolster for later. The best way to do this is to get... There's ivy growing right here. The best way to do this is to get your butt right up close to the wall. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to prick my buttocks on this ivy. And swing your legs around and bring their legs up the wall. And the reason why we will start this way and we're going to end our class this way as well is that this really nourishes your kidneys. And your kidneys, according to traditional Chinese medicine, they are the organ that is associated with your ears. So we'll learn a little bit more about that later. But for now, you can either lie down on your back or rest with your legs up the wall to begin for centering. So as you center here, just begin by listening to your body. So we can actually listen to our bodies. If your body was speaking to you right now, what would your body say? And then shift your attention and tune in to your breath. You may even be able to actually hear your breath right now. And if you can, listen to your breath. And if you can't hear your breath, that's fine too. Just tune into the sensations of your breath in your body. And your breath is really a barometer for your well-being. Just notice what your breath is telling you about how you're feeling right now. Now listen to your thoughts, what's on your mind, and become aware of what thoughts are going through your mind right now. And listen to your emotions. Listen to how you're feeling right now. No need to fix or change anything right now. Just become aware of the emotional climate of your being.
Then listen to your energy. How is your energy at this moment? And listen to your spirit. And then take a deep breath in through your nose and let it fall out of your mouth, <sighs> gathering up everything that you've heard from your body, your breath, your thoughts, your emotions, your energy, and your spirit. Bend your knees, roll to your right side, and come back to your mat, or pull your mat maybe a little bit away from your wall. And lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. We're going to do some neck and shoulder releases now. You're there's a meridian that runs through your neck that relates directly to your ears. And also um, by bringing some blood flow to your neck, it helps to open up your hearing as well. So that's what we're up to next. So with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, you're just going to inhale with your head in the center, exhale and roll your head to one side. Inhale with your head to the center, exhale and roll your head to the other side. And then bring your hands up to hold on to your elbows. Drop your shoulders heavy into the ground. You can inhale actually and lift them up and then exhale, drop them down again. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower your elbows over to one side. Roll your head to the same side. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower your elbows over to the other side. Roll your head to the same side. And you go back and forth, bringing blood flow to your neck and shoulders and bringing energy to the meridian in your neck. Moving slowly with breath. I'm listening to your breath as you move and then keeping your head so your neck is going to go opposite to your shoulders now so inhale center exhale lower your head opposite to your elbows so listen to your body as you do this
And then come back to the center and take your hands out to the side, about shoulder height and a soft T. Take your feet wide on the mat and you're going to do windshield wiper legs. So you're going to sway your knees from side to side. So your kidney meridian, which is the meridian for your, the effects your traditional Chinese meridian organ for your ears runs along your inner thighs. And that is why we're doing your windshield wiper legs right now to affect that meridian for your ears. So inhale in the center and exhale to the side and listen to your body as you do this. Pay attention to the sensations on your inner thighs. And then roll to your right side and make your way up to seated. You're going to need your blocks now. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together. And you're going to see how far wide your knees open so that you can get sensation on your inner thighs. Again, getting into that kidney meridian there. And then you're going to place your blocks there to support your SI joints here. And from here, you're going to lean forward for Badha Konasana and stretch out those inner thighs. So again, this is your kidney meridian, organ meridian, which is associated with your ears and it runs along your inner thighs and also along up through the midline of your body. So now to affect the midline part of your kidney meridian, you're gonna come seated upwards and we'll do some cat cow movements through your spine. So exhale round. Inhale, arch. And you can also feel how when you're doing this cat-cow movement in your spine, you're still affecting your inner thigh part of your kidney meridian. So breathe out as you round. Breathe in as you arch. And then you're going to do a little side bend here. And side bend to the other side. And then twist. And twist. And come back to the center and bring your chin down to your chest. So now we're getting into your neck, opening up your neck, bringing blood flow to your neck, which helps to bring blood flow to your ears, but also that kidney, part of the kidney meridian channel that runs through your neck, through your ears, and then ears to shoulders. Ear to other shoulder. Turn 
Turn your head to one side. Other direction. And circle your head around in front. And then you can come to a comfortable seated position for our mantra and mudra. Okay, so I'm going to sit kneeling on a block. You can sit cross-legged in a, on a meditation cushion or seated in a chair. Today we are continuing with our Ayurdehi mantra and we're going to do the Shunya Mudra. So we're chanting this mantra today for the sixth line of the mantra, which is Shrotam Dehi, which is may my hearing be nourished. So you can also listen to the sound of the mantra while you're chanting to bring nourishment to your hearing. And for this mudra, the Shunya Mudra, you're going to fold your middle finger down to your palm with the tip resting at the base of your thumb. And then you're going to cover your middle finger with your thumb and extend your remaining fingers. So this mudra improves hearing, reduces ringing in your ears, so anybody who suffers from tinnitus, and earache, and it reduces vertigo, vertigo and it helps to improve your balance. So just a caution, this mudra is recommended for acute situations, not long-term use. Once your hearing has been improved and the de desired effect has been realized, discontinue the regular practice of the Shunya Mudra. So I want to just go through the translation of this mudra, this mantra for a second, because um, I'm wondering if people are losing sight of of the meaning of the mantra because uh, people are wondering why we're doing the mantra in the middle of the class. So um, the whole reason for the series is the mantra and each cl class we're doing a line of the mantra and so this week we're doing Shrotam Dehehi, may my hearing be nourished. And so the whole class is based around a line of the mantra and that's the reason for the whole series. So I thought what I would do this week is just translate the whole mantra for you again and you, it, it's translated each week in the show notes I believe as well if you want to go back to that but um, let's just go through that so you know the meaning of the mantra again it's ayur dehi may my life be nourished panam dehi may the upward energy moving energy be nourished abhanam dehi may the downward moving energy be nourished vyanam dehi may the circulating energy energy be nourished Chakshur Dehi, may my sight be nourished. Mano Dehi, may my hearing. Shrotam Dehi, may my hearing be nourished. Mano Dehi, may my mind be nourished. Vacham Dehi, may my speech be nourished. Atmanam Dehi, may my soul be nourished. Patisham Dehi, um, may I rest in that nourishment. Mam Dehi, may I be nourished, and Mai Dehi, may that nourishment bring pleasure to others. So, as I said this week, we're focusing on Shrotam Dehi, may my hearing be nourished. So, what we're going to do this week is chant just one time through in call and response, and then we'll do it three times at the end of the class. So let's make space with breath and a sigh. You will hold the mudra on your lap and I will sing the mantra. We'll do it in column response, making space with breath and a sigh. Ayodhehi, Ayodhehi, Panam Dehi, Panam Dehi, Apanam Dehi, Apanam Dehi, Vyanam Dehi, Vyanam Dehi, 
Chakshurdehi Chakshurdehi Shodham Dehi Shodham Dehi Mano Dehi Mano Dehi Vacham Dehi Vacham Dehi Atmanam Dehi Atmanam Dehi Patrishtam Dehi Patrishtam Dehi Mam Dehi Mam Dehi Mahi Dehi Mahi Dehi So continue holding the Shunya Mudra with your eyes closed to receive the teachings for today. So this week we will focus on the sixth line of the Ayur Dehi mantra with the uh, Shrotam Dehi, may my hearing be nourished. As yogis we have the opportunity to listen each time we come to our yoga mats. We can hone the skills of awareness and mindfulness and listen to our bodies, minds, emotions, energy, and spirit. As we use the practice of pratyahar, that's turning our senses inward, and I've linked to a whole class on this in our show notes, we can turn our senses inward and attend to and observe what is happening now in our internal landscape. Traditional Chinese medicine points out that our ears, which faintly resemble our kidneys in shape, are thought to reflect the condition of kidney jing, our essential energy. Large ears and sharp hearing indicate an excellent condition of kidney energy. According to traditional Chinese medicine, as we age, hearing loss is related to kidney jing, depletion, our essential energy diminishing. If our kidneys are functioning efficiently, then we can hear well also. Your kidney meridian begins at the soles of your feet, travels up your inner leg to your genitals. From the top of your pubic bone, it goes to your tailbone, to your sacrum, lower back, and into your kidney. An inner branch of your kidney meridian travels through your kidney, liver, heart, lungs, and up the center of your throat and into your ears. The main meridian flows up your pubic bone to your abdomen near your midline, ending just below your collarbones. In today's class, we will nourish our hearing by listening closely to our bodies, thoughts, emotions, energy, and spirit. We will also open up the traditional Chinese kidney meridian to nourish our hearing. So go ahead and reflect on today's teachings and how they relate to you and your life and form an intention of what it is you would like to receive from today's class. What is it you are trying to create, sustain, release, or rebirth in your life? And how can this class best help you to do that? And then once you've formed your intention, you can go ahead and make your way up to standing. Okay, from standing we're going to do Utkata Konasana, Goddess Victory Squat. Take your legs wide, turn them to 10 and 2 o'clock, and then you're going to sit straight down and bring your arms up. Okay, so I chose this pose to 
connect with your kidney meridians along your inner thighs for your ears today. So keep pulling your knees back and feel the outside edges of your feet. And listen to your body. And then come on up. And we're going to do a Qigong exercise that my traditional Chinese medicine doctors show me to nourish your kidneys. So if your kidneys get depleted, then that's sort of we were talking about at the beginning in the discussion about your, uh, it relates to your hearing, then you, you could it potentially, according to Chinese medicine, experience hearing loss, that those two things can re be related. So if you can nourish your kidneys, then According to Chinese medicine, this can help your hearing. So this exercise, the way that it works is you inhale, you exhale, you fold forward, and you visualize squashing, kind of squeezing your kidneys, and then you go over to the other side, you squeeze your kidneys, and you come up, and then you inhale. So you exhale, lower down, and you're, it's like you're squeezing the kidneys, Come over to the other side, squeeze the other kidney, and then you inhale and come up. Where are your kidneys? So your kidneys are kind of just below your lungs and they sit right on top of your adrenals. So in Western medicine, it's more like your adrenals that are related to your energy. But in Chinese medicine, they look at your Kidneys is related to your energy. We have a visitor. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's great for nourishing your kidneys. So let's just stop for a moment here, take a minute just to listen to your body and to listen to your energy and see if you notice a difference there in your jing, your kidney jing. I like that word jing. How's your jing? <laughs> That's your jing today. <laughs> okay, then you're gonna need your bolster and your blocks. So you're gonna get your bolster. And if you don't have a bolster, you can roll up some blankets or get your sleeping bag out or whatever and make a bolster. And then you're gonna lie down, bring the soles of your feet together. So again, this is a great one to get right into that kidney meridian for your ears and rest back over your bolster. When we're thinking about restoring Jing too, these restorative poses are really great as well.
Take a deep breath in. Tuck your chin, draw your knees together. Use your abdominal muscles and slowly roll up. And you can put your bolster off to the side. You're going to need uh, your meditation cushion or a folded blanket to elevate yourself a little bit for the seated postures to finish. I'm going to use a block. It's probably going to be a little too high. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so once you've elevated yourself a little bit, take your legs wide. So again, this is to get into that kidney meridian. And you're gonna inhale, lift yourself up tall and just turn to the side. So you've got a twist here. Upavishta Konasana. A part of it, Upavishta Konasana. So wide-legged seated forward fold with a twist here. And then inhale and come back to the center and exhale and twist to the other side. And inhale, back center again. And exhale, hinge forward through your hips. So you're going to roll your pelvis over your leg bones. Stay long through your spine. Lift your heart. Reach forward from your heart. Let your elbows be heavy. So feel that all the way along your kidney meridian here to nourish your ears. And then slowly roll your pelvis back up over your leg bones to come sitting upright. And bring your legs back to the center. And then bring your mat back up against the wall and we'll do legs up the wall. So for legs up the wall, you're going to place your hips right close to the wall and then swing your legs around and bring your legs up the wall here. And so the intention behind legs up the wall for your Shavasana today is that it's going to nourish your kidney jing, nourish your kidney energy is going to 
bring blood flow to your kidneys here. That's the intention to nourish your ears. So you're going to stay with legs up the wall Well, I come back up to read a poem to you. Okay, I'll stay here. I need to get my Kindle. So while you're resting with your legs up the wall, nourishing your kidney jing, I have a poem for you by Mary Oliver called, How Would You Live Then? What if a hundred rose-breasted gross beaks flew in circles around your head? What if the mockingbird came into the house with you and became your advisor? What if the bees filled your walls with honey and all you needed to do was ask them and they would fill the bowl? What if the brick slid downhill just past your bedroom window so you could listen? Listen to its slow prayers as you fell asleep. What if the stars began to shout their names or to run this way and that above the clouds? What if you painted a picture of a tree and the leaves began to rustle and the bird cheerfully sang from its painted branches? What if you suddenly saw that the silver of water was brighter than the silver of money? What if you finally saw that the sunflowers turning toward the sun all day and every day, who knows how, but they do it, were more precious, more meaningful than gold? So keep resting with your legs up the wall. You're going to stay here for about two and a half more minutes.
So gradually allow your breath to deepen. Bend your knees and roll to your right side. Slowly make your way up to seated. We will close with our mantra and our mudra. And we do this as a way to gather the benefits of our practice together as a community and to offer them to the well-being of all beings. So we are doing the Ayurdhehi mantra again with the Shunya Mudra. So that's the middle finger down to the base of the thumb, drawing the thumb over the middle finger with the other fingers extended. And then you'll rest that on your lap and the Shunya Mudra is for your ears and your hearing again, great for tinnitus. And the Ayurdhehi mantra is a mantra for nourishment, for your nourishment of your whole being, and then that, that nourishment is offered out for the benefit of all beings. After you nourish yourself, you offer that nourishment to the benefit of all beings. So let's make space with breath and a sigh, and we'll sing this mantra three times. Ayurdhehi Pranam Dehi Apanam Dehi Vyanam Dehi Chakshu Dehi Shrodham Dehi Mano Dehi Vajam Dehi Atmanam Dehi Pratishtam Dehi Mam Dehi Mai Dehi Ayurdehi Pranam Dehi Apanam Dehi Vyanam Dehi Chakshu Dehi Shrotam Dehi Amano Dehi Vacham Dehi Atmanam Dehi Patristam Dehi Mam Dehi Mai Dehi Ayurdehi Panam Dehi Apanam Dehi Vyanam Dehi Chakshu Dehi Shrodham Dehi Mano Dehi Vacham Dehi Atmanam Dehi Patishtam Dehi Mam Dehi Mai Dehi Bring your hands together in the Anjali Mudra at your heart, gathering all the benefits of your practice. I'm sending you much love from beautiful British Columbia. May you experience the strength of our mountains. May you be as grounded as the trees in our forests. And may your joy be as deep as our oceans. Om Shanti Namaste. If you like this video, click like, and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. What's this guy interested in, I wonder? <laughs> Pretty amazing, really, how calm and tame they are.
Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.